Even the fastest EV charging stations today cannot match the speed of simply filling up a petrol tank. But this can. When the lightweight truck parks at the swapping station, a mechanical tray approaches it from behind, unlocking the embedded battery beneath the vehicle. The tray slides out the battery and places it onto the charging shelves, then installs a new battery, reversing its previous actions. The process takes about 5 minutes and costs about 90 yuan for the car to run another 200 kilometers. The same millage using petrol would cost about 400 kwai, and even including the price of renting these batteries is still only one third of the price of using petrol. This center axis sliding battery swap system we built is the first of its kind in China, and it has acquired more than 70 technology patents. Of course, battery swapping technology and its advantages are not new. So what's this company's game plan? The niche market we've chosen is for urban short-distance vehicles that need to be on the road constantly every day. It's not just a desire to swap batteries. It is a necessity for them to do so. The company says each station has the capacity to do 200 swaps a day. And at 47 swaps, the operation will break even. This is the first battery swap station for lightweight trucks in northeastern China. And if this business model proves successful, it could be applied to many more cities. By 2025, the Dalian City Construction Investment Group will actively promote the completion of 100 commercial power swap stations, promote more than 20,000 swappable commercial EVs to be used in the city's logistics, taxi and other public service sectors. We aim to expand beyond Dalian to the whole northeast region as well as the rest of the nation to comprehensively build the Dalian model of zero carbon development. Industry professionals say swapping and charging will be complementary to each other in the EV ecosystem.